I know that I am dealing with uh, some form of low grade depression. You're thinking about that exam in your life or that thing in your life that's supposed to come, but you're not prepared for it or you're trying to prepare for it. You're trying to think about it. You're trying to imagine it. That's the anxiety. Now you're thinking about all the mistakes that you made in the past and you're here in the middle, depression, anxiety, and you get squashed in the middle. And you know what happens then? It's called a panic attack. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamualaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and- that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. Depression will lead Michelle Obama and anyone else towards Islam. Guys, I know the title sounds funny, sounds weird, it's cute. You're cloud chasing my point, Michelle Obama's name in it. Who's next, KSI? Maybe, maybe. Uh, you know, I, I found this article where, where I seen that Michelle Obama recently on her podcast opened up to you know her her mental illness and especially about depression and how covid has you know got her depressed i'll play the clip right now i know that i am dealing with uh, some form of low grade depression not just because of the quarantine but because of the racial strife and just seeing this administration watching the hypocrisy of waking up to how this administration has or has not responded waking up to yet another uh, story of a black man or a black person somehow being dehumanized or hurt or killed or falsely accused of something it is exhausting uh, but i want to let you know something that covid Corona quarantining has caused a lot of people who already have mental illness uh, to sort of like aggravate it a little bit more, right? So irritate it. So imagine like you have like a like like a pimple or something like that, and you pick at it a little bit. It was small before. It was small before, but it was there. But you pick at it, you pick at it, and the head just doesn't come out, and it doesn't explode or anything like that. So now all of a sudden, not only did you not accomplish it, now it's gotten swollen and bigger. That's how our mental uh, illness and anxiety and depression can be. That it was already there, but COVID has irritated and aggravated that pimple of you know mental illness. That's cute. We're talking about pimples now. Yes, I get acne every now and then. I hope you guys are liking. This new look, guys. So the beard. I just got. I went for a haircut. My show is starting really, really soon. Shooting for the show and shooting for the show. That sounds funny. I'm um, shooting for uh, the the show very, very soon. More details to come about that very, very soon. So, alhamdulillah, I had to go to my boy. Uh, he, he's a revert, mashallah, Talib. May Allah bless him. Good brother. Good, good, good brother. I've spoken to him before. He's going to be in my vlog. Anyways, um, I want to let you know something that depression, right, uh, is something that is controllable. And I want to tell you why. First, let's talk about where depression even stems from. Okay, depression comes from, you know, you thinking about all the things that you can't control. Understand what I mean? If you start thinking about the past in your life, all the things that's happened in the past that you can't control, you start feeling bad or sad or anxious. <coughs> Excuse me. Got the matcha latte. My wife got this for me. She was being thoughtful, mashallah. You start thinking about all the things you can't control in your life, okay? So you get sad. You feel overwhelmed. And guess what? Let's flip the opposite. Well, what, what's the opposite of that, SQ? If I'm always thinking about my past and all the things that are going wrong in my life and how things could have been better, I get sad. What's the opposite of that? Thinking about the future. Thinking about what's to come in the future. And that will cause you to have anxiety. So now think about this. You're thinking about that exam in your life or that thing in your life that's supposed to come, but you're not prepared for it or you're trying to prepare for it. You're trying to think about it. You're trying to imagine it. That's the anxiety. Now you're thinking about all the mistakes that you made in the past and you're here in the middle. Depression, anxiety. And you get squashed in the middle. And you know what happens then? It's called a panic attack. Okay, because you, you're closed. The panic attack is like, <gasps> can't breathe. Why? Because the wall of anxiety is closing in on you. The wall of depression is closing in from behind you and you're getting squashed in the middle. What does the shaitan promise Allah that I'm going to attack them from the front? Anxiety. From behind, depression. How much time do we have left? SubhanAllah, come on. We've accomplished a lot in just three and a half approaching four minutes right now. You see, my tip and advice to anyone out there, if you're someone suffering with depression, is to remember something, that your depression, 
Listen to what I'm about to say, right? That's about to freak you out. It's about to freak you out, friends. Your depression is a gift from Allah. Let me tell you how. If your depression is causing you to get on your knees just a little bit more, to worship Allah just a little bit more, for you to trust in Allah in the process and being patient just a little bit more, this depression is a gift from Allah. If this depression, if this anxiety has caused you to draw closeness to Allah, this depression and anxiety, this mental illness, this mental health issue is the greatest gift from above because it's caused you to reflect and think about your Lord. Do you feel me? MashaAllah, this cut has got me all crazy right now, MashaAllah. May Allah bless you guys. I hope you guys are vibing and understanding what I'm trying to say. Okay? It's a gift from Allah. Sometimes we ask for patience, don't we? Allah grant me more patience. Allah grant me more patience. But the only way Allah sometimes can get you that patience is by putting you in circumstances and situations that calls you to be patient. Come on now. Come on. SQ, take a bow. SQ, take a bow. MashaAllah. Are you feeling what I'm saying right now? I hope you guys like this stove. I got this from Medina. Alhamdulillah. I got this from Medina. I love going to Medina. Man, I can't wait for Mecca and Medina to go. Aren't you excited? I can't wait for all this to be over. I just want to go to the Kaaba and just pray to Allah. Like Allah, like we've messed up so much. May Allah remove all the anxiety and depression that's happening in our lives. Wallahi, ameen. Come on now. Sometimes Allah will put you in these situations that require you to be patient. And sometimes the only way for you to learn to be patient is by being in a situation in which you have no other choice but to be patient. So I'm telling you right now, if you want to know, okay, SQ, you told me about the depression that's from behind me, the anxiety from behind, in front of me. So how do I live my life? You live your life in the now. YOLO! Not YOLO, but hear, hear me out. You live your life in the now by understanding that everything that's happened in the past is from the qadr of Allah. The future doesn't exist. All that exists is right now. What you do with your time right now. You see, one of the things that the son of Adam's feet won't be able to move on the day of judgment until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks you about a few things. One of them is the time they spent. Notice, the time they spent. Not the time that they were going to have but they didn't do. You know, No future time. Everything is present. I was going to say past participle. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, present time. Allah will question you about the time that you have used, not the unused time. The future is unused time. Why waste our mental space and ca uh, capacity thinking about that? So, Michelle Obama out there, if by some miracle, you and uh, President Barack are watching this YouTube video, and you're like, yo, SQ, I'm filling your beard. I'm liking this matcha latte right now. Oh, mashallah, it's tasting and looking so good, SQ. Just remember something. Depression is caused from thinking about all the things that you can't control. You mentioned in your video, in your, in your podcast, that you're thinking about all the horrible things that are happening in you know, Black Lives Matter with the police officers and the administration. You're thinking about all the things that you can't control. Hence, you feel depressed. And then you start thinking about what does the future hold for my children, my, my country, my state. I believe you're sincere. That's going to cause anxiety. So all we can do is focus on the now. Focus on what's in our control. I can't control Israel continue to bomb Palestine and, 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 and killing my brothers and sisters in Syria and Yemen. I can't control that. But I can control using my platform to raise some awareness. Right? I can you know, may Allah bless all those who've lost their lives in Beirut and, and Lebanon. It, it sucks, right? Remember when Christ Church happened? How depressed did you feel? It's easy to go in a cycle of spin of depression. But we have to remember something, that we can't control any of those things. All we can control is our response to the situation. And we have to respond in the best, most positive way possible. I appreciate you guys watching this and listening to me. Guys, wallahi, I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody. The fact that you spent a little bit time watching me, listening to me, and for those of you legends out there dropping comments in the comment section below, you know I love reading them. You know I love reading them. I appreciate you so much. But I'm so happy that I'm making videos like this. These are daily videos that I'm making. How much time I have left? I'm all right. Uh, these are daily videos I'm making, guys, and I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying them. You know, it's therapeutic for me. I'm, I'm being myself. I'm not trying to be like the dawah person that you want me to be or they want me to be or I think I need to be to get views. Honest to God, 
I know this sounds weird, but I don't care if you watch this or not. I care if you benefit from this. So if you did benefit from this, leave a like, you know, drop a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts, share your thoughts with you as well too, and respond to your comments. You know I love you, and that's my favorite thing to do. Uh, I just had a burp that matcha latte, alhamdulillah. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you benefited from this video and you would like to watch a few more videos, click any of these videos right here. This button tells you to subscribe. I recommend between you and me, don't subscribe, it ain't worth it. Love you all for the sake of Allah. My daughters aren't here right now. They went to go do laundry with their mom, my wife. Um, but you know, they would have said something cute. Salaamu Alaikum and all that. I hope you guys are enjoying them in the videos. I'm enjoying having them. Uh, until next time, I'm out.